dimension and draw. All right, so chief architect, dimension and draw. Now, one of the things that chief does is it lulls you into this. Is it, when you first get into it, 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 you seem like you're really building a building on your computer, and you're really not. It's really, you, you, you get that sense, but it's really a CAD program, and everything about it is all about CAD lines and dimensions and getting things in the right place. And the technique that I use more often than not is I, I will draw CAD lines, and I'll dimension them in place to help me get things laid out before I even start applying any of the 3D elements to the plan. All right, so I do that a lot. You, what you end up doing is you end up thinking in terms of 2D drawing, using, using a, the drawing board to draw things. So I'll lay out details and I'll dimension them before adding the 3D. So some of the tips, use layers and layer sets, which I've just showed you a little bit about for uh, doing some quick layouts, and uh, using line styles. Different line styles can uh, help you lay things out. Okay, so let's go in there and let me just show you a couple quick examples of what I mean by this. So when you're in Chief, let me go open up. I have a little deck that I drew. This is a, this is a pretty classic example of what I'm talking about. And quite often, I'll be doing a project, and I'll be working on a layout for something. And I might have the deck laid out. And now I need to come down, and because, OK, this is good. This is what they want. And now I need to come down and start laying out the actual working documents for the footings and where things are going to be put placed for this deck or the porch or the whatever it is in your plan that you need to dimension accurately. So what I'll do is is you know this is kind of how it looks. Most of these items are dimensioned to CAD lines, not to 3D objects. So I laid this all out before I even added any 3D elements to the plan. So let me go back to the plan here. And let's just say for example that okay, so here's my deck and I need to go down and lay out some footings underneath that. All right, so I'm going to go down to the lower level, and I'm going to click on this button right here, which is going to open up the overview function. So I can now see the lines for the items that are above me on the first floor. And I'm going to go set up a layer specifically for some lines that I'm going to call above and below lines. I'll just draw some lines here. So you'll notice that when you have this function turned on, this is the X1 and 2 feature, that you're actually snapping two other objects. So you see when I pull this line onto that red line, it's actually going to snap to it. And what I want to do is put those CAD lines on a layer, as they're going to represent the outline of my deck. But my deck's really drawn on the first floor. So the line style that I'm going to use here is going to be defined as, and I'll go New. And I'll call it my CAD, and I'll call it my above slash below lines. That's what I call it. You call it whatever you want. Above, below lines. Now, I'm going to click this button right here. I want these lines to be the same on every one of my views in my plan. I'm going to modify all the layer sets here. So you're going to check that in. And I'm going to make those lines, I'll just make them blue so you can see that. I made the change. I'll leave the line weight at 18. Um, and I will go in and make them dotted. Like that. Okay. So those lines will now be easy to be seen on my, on my plan. So, so I'm going to lay them out. And now there, so there's my deck layout on the lower level. Now I'm ready to start laying out my footings. So before I start laying out anything in 2D in 3D I'm going to just go in here I'm going to just draw where the center points of my footings might be okay so I'm going to draw a CAD line here I'm going to hit control C and I'm going to drag that line off of there oops I guess I have to hit the copy button control drag control copy drag all right so now I've got three lines on here so now I'm going to dimension those into place before I do anything else. So I'm going to draw my dimension here. I'm going to draw my dimension here. Maybe I want this to be two feet. I want this to be two feet. 
And because I have this line drawn, snapped to each end, all I have to do is drag this onto the center point of that line, and I got it equally spaced. I didn't have to think about what the dimension is. And this is going to be 8 foot 10. All right, so, so there I've just laid out where the center points of all my footings are going to be. Before I even do 3D again, maybe I'll just add some circles. I'm going to add some circles that might have dotted lines with a concrete fill pattern, you know, whatever, to represent the footings. So I'm going to just snap this first one into place. All right, point to point snap. Now, how does that work? Point to point. This tool you use, with everything you draw in chief, you draw accurately. You don't just kind of move things into place. Although I could move that on, and it would snap to the center point. And that works fine. But you want to get used to point-to-point -point snap, too. Point-to-point -point works like this. You highlight the item you want to move, hit point-to-point, -point, click on the object, move it into position from the point you want it to. All right, so there my footings are. Now, the other thing I want to be aware of is sometimes I want to turn my dimensions on and off in a view. Because if I'm going to show my framing, maybe I don't want these dimensions here. So I'm going to use a little tool that I'm going to put these CAD lines that I use to represent these centers on the same layer as the dimensions. So I can turn the dimensions off, and these lines will go off too. So I'm going to use what's called the Layer Painter tool. So I'm going to go to Tools. Display setting, and I'm going to select what's called the layer eyedropper. I'm going to click that. I'm going to select the, the dimension line. I'm going to select the layer that I want. My icon turns into a spray can, and now I'm going to go paste that onto these lines that I put in there. So if I go in and I turn my dimensions off now, that was my manual, everything goes off. So now those CAD lines act just like dimension lines. So there you go. So that's a little tip. So again, I use this technique a lot when I'm laying things out in my plan before I ever start even adding any 3D elements to the plan. So now I might go add my posts. I might go add my framing. Then I know I've got things in the right place, and I don't have to mess around with it later. I don't have to mess around with it later. Quick question that I'll ask the answer. Um, shouldn't I modify all layer sets before I add the item name over here? The answer is no. This modify all layer sets only works for all of these things. When you add a name to the list, it will add it to all of your layer sets. Okay, so the name will be always added to all your layer sets. It's just how it displays on your different layer sets. That'll be different. All right, so let's dimension and draw.